It's built arguably the best program over the past five years. They've won two national championships. And he's built it on one word, attitude. Here's how they measure that. Where is your mindset after something bad happens to you? And they create adverse situations in practice just to see people's response. They train the behavior. And that behavior was on full display in the 2016 National Championship game. Take a look. It's Barry, who had the hot hand from three in the first half. They're going to have to do something from the outside now. It's Page off balance. Puts it out. All right, so Jay's going to tell you what happened before that and right after. We've blown a 10-point lead. We've done a lot. Of, we've given up a three before that. The only thing you could do wrong on that play was give up a three. We did it. And the guys were coming off the court, walking to the huddle, and they're all saying, attitude, attitude. Not one guy complaining, not one guy saying, do you believe that shot? And then we're in the huddle, and they're all just looking at each other like, it's what we do. Attitude. Attitude is what we do. I, I had no, it's, I didn't, if it could have ended right there, I, I would have felt like they had the greatest lesson in life. It didn't end right there. They go length of the court with Archie Diakono. Three seconds at midcourt. Jenkins gives it to Jenkins for the championship. <laughs> Here's some of the reactions. So this is Charles Barkley, former NBA player, current announcer. Here's the fan base back in Philly. And here's Jay Wright's reaction. Five seconds, the shot by Page. And then he's, he's still cool. He didn't react. He doesn't even have to shower after this. <laughs> Goodness. Here's why he had no reaction. I was feeling a sense of accomplishment already. I was already saying, if we lose this game in overtime, I don't care. We're going to use this to teach them for life. Then Jenkins hits the shot, and I, I really was like, are you kidding me, God? Like, I, we get this too? You know, that, that's really what my reaction was. The huddle was one of Jay's favorite moments in coaching. And one of the people that was in that huddle was Mikhail Bridges. Now, when Mikhail came to Villanova, they decided to redshirt him. No resistance, he bought into the plan. Then as a redshirt freshman, he came off the bench for the 2016 National Championship team, which you just saw. Sophomore year continues to get better, comes back for his junior year, and it was the first year that he took an interest in developing his teammates. They won another national championship in 2018, and then this happened. With the 10th pick in the 2018 NBA draft, the Philadelphia 76ers select Mikael Bridges from Villanova University. That's Mikhail's mom. Here's why she's so excited. We've got mom here too, Tania. We love that celebration, and there's not a better storybook ending here. Tania worked for the Sixers. Mikhail was a Philly kid. As a kid, he dreamt of putting that jersey on. The dream was realized. And then this happened. They take him away. He goes in the back to do the interviews. We're still in the green room. They trade him across the country to Phoenix. He's back in the room doing the media interviews, and they tell him. Now, he doesn't even get to see his mother. And finally, Half an hour later, we all get back together again. And he said, hey, you know, they just told me, it's, hey, it's a business. And he just looked at me and said, attitude, coach. This is, the next, this is the next play. Which shows how deep that word runs in that program. And when you have a leader that handles adversity like that, the influence on the locker room is incredible. Part of the reason why that year's team was nominated as best team by the ESPYs.